All right, a crazy story in Fort Worth. A Fort Worth woman who shot a 14-year-old who was attempting to break into her home is now being evicted from her apartment. Let's check it out. A Fort Worth woman who shot and killed a teenager she says was breaking into her rental home told us today how the incident has changed her life. Police have not filed charges for the shooting and they plan to submit the case for a grand jury review. Aliyah Wallace talked exclusively with Fox Force Sean Rabb who joins us now live. Sean. Uh, Leah Wallace uh, bought a gun to protect herself and her family, she tells me, after a rash of break-ins in her apartment. Those happened while she and her family were not at home. But uh, on December 14th, twice that day, while she was home with her kids, someone tried to get in. I was cleaning my living room, sweeping my floor, and I heard her window start going back up. So I went. And I looked in the hallway, and I could see him standing at the window, lifting it up, and I just shot. Gunshots that killed 14-year-old Devin Baker at the bedroom window of Aaliyah Wallace's 8-year-old daughter early morning, December 14th. It's, it's bothering me that he was a kid. The incident happened not long after police left Wallace's home after responding to her 911 call about someone trying to break into her duplex. So I called him at 1.22 a.m. We talked for like 30 minutes. They did a report, took pictures of everything, and then they left. I believe there were reports that you had been burglarized or attempted burglaries before? Yes, I have like three or four police reports before this night. So what has happened since this incident? Um, the apartment called and told me that I was not supposed to have a gun at all, even though I kept calling them and telling them somebody was breaking in. They told me I could not have a gun and that I have 30 days to vacate. And how does that make you feel? Um, feel like I'm back at square one. I've been there for six years. So now I don't know what to do. This case is going to the grand jury. It's a referral, as they call it, and they're going to let citizens decide. What do you want people to know about you, Aaliyah Wallace? That I was only protecting my kids. I have four daughters. It's just... As simple as that. All she was doing was protecting her kids. This criminal... 14 years old, was trying to get into her home, which she had multiple reports of uh, break-ins, attempted break-ins, and it seems like the complex did nothing about it. So she took marriage to her own hands and protected her four daughters. I totally commend this woman for what she did. It's me and my four daughters that stay there. I just was protecting my daughters. How do you feel about what happened? I'm devastated that he was 14. I hate that. I literally do, and I'm so sorry. But at that point, I had to think about my babies. I didn't know he was 14 when he was on the other side of that window. All I knew that somebody could come in here and hurt me or my kids. That's it. So now Wallace lived in federally subsidized housing. We're seeking clarity on whether she can be evicted. She's concerned that if she is convicted, it would be difficult to find new housing for her and her four girls. We called the apartment complex today. The manager there told us to call the corporate office. We did so. The corporate office said, get your information from the local apartment complex. No answers. Total BS. They want answers from the complex. Complex says, complex says call corporate. Corporate says call the complex. This is nonsense. Look, what was she supposed to do in that situation? Did they provide security for her after these multiple attempted break-ins? Did they put a couple of sec armed security guards on property? Uh, I don't think so. But as far as I'm concerned, I don't see any indication that they did that. She took matters into her own hands to protect him. Like she said, she didn't know that he was 14 years old when he was on the other side of that window. When he opened it, she has four daughters in there. What was he going to do? Did he have a gun with him? Did he have a knife? Uh, it doesn't matter if he had no intention on, intention on uh, hurting anybody. The point is that she doesn't know that. And she's like she said, she's sorry that he was 14 and, and that he died. She didn't, but she feels terrible. And I understand that. Uh, if, put, if putting yourself in her shoes, her being a mother of four girls, of course she feels bad that a 14 year old's life was 
you know, is no longer here. Of course, she feels terrible about that, but she said, in that situation, I was looking out for my babies. And I totally commend this woman for what she did, for stepping up when people were not, when she was not getting the help that she needed. So let's take a look at her name and we'll keep an eye on this case and hopefully she will not be convicted of anything. She won't serve any time. And I think it's BS that she's being evicted uh, for this. I don't know how this works with public housing and, and having a weapon there. Uh, but like I said, what was she supposed to do? You damn if you do, damn if you don't. Either she loses her life or her kids uh, deal with a traumatic situation or she defends herself and her family. So yeah, look, this is the state of Texas. We have the Second Amendment. We're a pro-gun state. We have the Second Amendment here. Uh, I don't know how that translates into housing when they say you can't have a gun but i don't know we'll see what happens here and i'll keep you updated i just wanted to share this with you guys because i watched this happen i saw this story last week but updates have come out the woman has spoken out about this and let's hope for the best all right guys thanks for listening like and subscribe see you next time thank you take care